Hey, hello everyone. Welcome to Energy First Golf. Energy First Impact Later. So today in this video, I actually want to talk about something very, very interesting. Okay, and I call the left side connection and right side connection. So I'm going to go into detail and I'm going to explain to you why and why is it important to understand what's going on. And the truth is, a lot of you viewers uh, watch our video, you know that I don't teach, meaning I have not get into videos and teachings that's based on right arm. I talk very little about right arm because everything we talk about is left and energy and left side release. Now, obviously, there is right side release and there is what I call the unification release. But from a teaching perspective, from the steps of learning, we are solely want to focus on a lot of what I call the left side dominance. We already know that, you know, if you swing right hand the player, your left arm is a lead arm. If you swing left side, your right side is a lead arm. So basically, we can simply put the lead side connection or the trail side connection. Hello, everyone. Thank you for watching this video. We now have a personal swing analysis and also we offer personal instructional video. We have our own golf gloves, belts, shirts, hats, and bucket hats. If you're interested, click, please click on the Shopify link below. And don't forget to click like and subscribe to our channel. And please continue watching this video. Why it is so important to learn the lee side connection is because it's actually very easy to find it and to understand. Okay, so I want you guys to watch this video and follow what I'm doing. You don't have to do it with a club. If you want to do it with a club, you can. Okay, so I want you to do this right now. Just move your left arm. This is my lead arm, right? So I want you to turn your body like this. I want you to turn your body like this. And then I want you to turn your body and really fast. Okay, and you will find that your body rotation can throw this arm out. Okay, or you can do it in a way where I say, okay, you can do it in a 2D version. You put on like that and, right? And it feels actually very instant and very connected. But now if you go to your trail side, which is your right side, all right, I'm going to do the first one first while my arms relax. Okay, and now I'm going to do one more when my arms are here. Now, if you, if you all do this movement, you will feel that the trail side is actually harder because there is a feeling of a lagging. Means there is a feeling of delay. It's not as instant. Okay, I'm going to do it one more time. You will see it. And the truth is, you actually have to allow that to happen. Okay? And when we're talking about golf swing, that is a lagging feeling. Because when you're swinging your body, the arms actually lags behind you a little bit. Right? So, after you do this drill, you can already tell yourself, you say, wait a minute, I see what Lawrence is saying is that there's a different type of connection that we're dealing with. The left side is much more prompt. This side, I have to allow it to sling it. But also, if you do know how to use the right arm properly, it will absolutely give you a lot more club head speed. Because it has really more what I call the lagging feeling. But unfortunately, for most amateurs, if you use your right side for power or if you use your right side for contact or for impact or for what I call the impact image or try to square the face, none of those lagging feeling would happen. And also, it makes learning a golf swing very, very difficult. And the truth is, it is difficult to learn golf wrong. Most people can learn golf wrong, but it still feels difficult. And most people can learn golf right, 
and it still feels difficult. But I just want to show you guys why, and you guys can do this drill. Now again, when you do this drill, you can obviously control the arm like this, right? And then there's no longer swinging feeling because then your arms here is more dominant. It has a more of a hit feeling rather than a swinging feeling. See, this is a swinging feeling. And you guys can try that at home. So that's exactly what I say that the left side connection and the right side connection, the left side is much easier to learn it and harness and if you train your body correctly. Okay. Also, on the down swing, your left arm or your arms for both arms, this movement, what you see on TV, what you see to professional, this movement, it's not produced by the arms independently. It's produced because your body is rotating. Your body is rotating. That's the reason why the arms, in your view, feels like it's coming across like this. So that's exactly why I'm saying to you, you cannot use your arms to create a 2D movement or a lateral movement. Then you're not swinging. Okay? Because your body rotation, your body rotation dictates this image. So what are your arms doing? Your arms are releasing. Your arms are releasing, which is what we talked about arm rotation, but my arms is not doing this, okay, if I'm doing this, I should have a hard time doing this, so this lateral movement is created because of my body rotation, okay, so, based on all the information I just show you in, I just show you in this video, and explain to you why we really want most amateurs to focus on the left side, the lee side and also the connection between the lee side and this side the few different okay now obviously when you swing the golf club when you put them together it might also give you another different type of feeling but i truly believe if you learn golf correctly if you learn the lee side first the unification feeling will come easier. But if you learn golf with this side, I truly believe it's much harder. It's not impossible, but it's just much harder for adults. It's just much harder for adults. Because all the muscles in your arms, and your chest, and your shoulders, your lats, they're all very strong already. And most human beings, you're so used to do bench press, pun you know, punching. So this feeling of a power, it will absolutely disconnect the connection of lagging or the proper connection for a golf rotational movement, which is a golf swing. Okay, so I believe I mix myself very clear in this video because a lot of people always ask me, well, why you always teach left side? You know, what is the difference between right and left? Okay, now we will get into right side more in the future. But remember, really with all the, our videos right now, we are still really just focusing on the very first stage of learning golf, what I call the power struggle stage. And then we did talk about some, you know, um, speed and distance control, which is the second stage. Now, obviously, we talk about release because with energy, you got to have energy production. You got to have energy release. Now, obviously, when you have lagging, is what I call the energy absorption. See, energy production, energy absorption, energy release. Okay. And the truth is, if you guys watch our channel, the more you watch, the more it will make sense. Because why? We do not teach, we do not teach, we don't teach what's unnecessary, which is the impact, which is that inside less than a second. And you try to define a time that's inside less than a second. Which is like nano or microsecond 
of a second. So you try to define the impact or the contact or the strike. No, we're not going to talk about that. We're only going to talk about energy release. Energy and release. All right. So um, thank you for watching. If you guys have any questions regarding this video, please leave a comment and email us. And also, please click on this button right here to subscribe to our channel. And we also have two recommended videos if you want to know more about energy first, impact later. All right. So I will see you next time.